the city of the living God to the heavenly Jerusalem how I love your presence how I love
Thank you for what you have begun. It's, it's begun, Father. Love has won. Yes. 
Oh, how you must be celebrated in heaven. We get to love you, Father, with all our heart, all our soul, all our body, all our strength, and our neighbor as ourselves. Thank you, Father, you kept pouring out your liquid fire love on us. You poured out, and you poured out, and you poured out. How can we thank you enough? How can we express our gratitude except by believing that love has us, that love is in charge, that we're an army of love now, that we believe all things, hope all things, endure all things, that we cannot fail. Love has done the work all, all the work. We thank you, Father, for the love that constrains us, that propels us, that lays down our life because we, we're so moved by love. We thank you today that we're born of love and we get to love. We get to love souls that don't know a thing about love. We get to love them. We get to show them in countless ways that you are love, that God is love. God is love. We thank you for raising up this army in this nation, Father, marching about it. I went to Washington, D.C., and all I saw in the streets of Washington was love, liquid love. I sat at a restaurant and I wanted to hug everyone, hold them until the darkness left. And I thank you that that's what you are going to do. You're going to fill this city with your spirit of love. And you're going to melt their hearts. You're going to do it in Washington, D.C. And you're going to do it in Jerusalem. We thank you, Father, that you are the wall of fire about every one of us you are love and that fire is love you shed your love abroad in our hearts you shed your love abroad in our hearts by love by your spirit we thank you father god that we finally believe that your love we have been made in the image of love and you created us in love. You formed us into the image of love. It's utterly impossible for us if we know it to walk out of it. So we thank you for the ever increasing amount of yourself pouring in us, enlarging our hearts, enlarging our capacity. We thank you, Father God, that what you've begun is going to increase and increase and explode and explode and explode. And Father, we thank you for everyone that came to this conference that happens to be leaving today. You just fill their home with your presence and just, oh, Father, every unsaved family member, husband or wife, we ask for your love to just pour out like a waterfall on the households. We ask for your love to go in the door and meet them face to face, one visitation after the other. And these souls that you are, came and you're sending back home, Father, we thank you for the ever-increasing love in them because with it is faith and hope. And Father, impossible situations that are just turned around through the power of your love, that they're going back filled to overflow. You gave us not just this breakthrough, this avalanche, but Father, the overflow. The overflow of your love is just going to soak them, the jobs, their businesses, uh, the, all the family members. Father, love invasions, love revolution. A love restoration, love revival. We thank you, Father God, that you are an amazing Father. And this is a culmination of all the ages that you're pouring out yourselves on us, your people. It's a culmination of the form and the latter rain. We thank you, Father God 
that you are doing this not by might, no power, oh, but by your spirit. Yes. And we ask for every thought, word, and deed that we think, that we speak, deed that we do, that it would be in the name of love, for the glory of love, for the praise of love, for the joy of getting to love you and know you intimately. And Father, we ask that as we go out, please send us out. Grace us to love the one in front of us. We go to Walmart. Grace us to love everyone. Just sing the song of love. Just dance and dance of love down the aisles. Just declare love is coming to this place. Love is coming to this street. Love is coming to these homes. We thank you, Father, that the kingdom of God has come. Your will is being done. And we love you. We love you. We love you love you and father we thank you for the multiplication of what you begun this was a big thing awesome awesome that you did for us so we thank you for exploding it wherever we go just exploding it everywhere in every city in every state every region this nation and then throughout the nation's father we were made to love you we were made to carry this banner of love we were made to go forth and bear the fruit of love and so we thank you, Father God. Nothing can stand against your love. It's the highest mountain of all. And we thank you that all these seven mountains, the first mountain they're going to, has to be love mountain. That we dwell in love. We drink of love. We abide in love. And we bear the fruit of love. And then we go filled to these oh. mountains, Father. Filled with love, the glory of love, the power of love, the wisdom of love, the insight, the understanding, the discernment of love. Father, we ask you to seal us with this love again. Pour out, pour out, pour out, pour out. And every day, all day, we're just pouring out your love. It's natural as breathing, because of course we were born in love. We abide in love. We rest in love. And we bear the fruit of love in everything we ask of you in the name of love. Father, we thank you. These answer prayers are just coming. Cut just like an avalanche. These answer prayers are coming. What we long for, what we pray for, what we believe Ooh, for. That through is. the ages, Father, is just being birthed. So grace these leaders and these new leaders coming forth to just contain this, to know what the next step is and to not miss it. And for us to just support them and lift them up in prayer. We ask for an unprecedented move of intercession throughout this nation. Touch the intercessors. Set every one of us all blaze with the knowledge of love, the power of love, oh, the wisdom of love, the knowing that God is love and he is stronger than death. And we can go forth in all and bearing the fruit of love, Father, and supporting and laying in our lives. We thank you, Father God. Just increase, 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 increase. Outrageously, outrageously, Father. Show, show the world that you are an awesome God. You're an almighty God. And when you work, there's nothing and no one that can hinder love. Nothing and no one can that stop this move. It's impossible. And this move is not going to stop in this house. We're going to do what you called us to do. Not by might, no power, but by your spirit. should remain that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name he may give it you these things I command you that you love one another 
if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Lord, we receive your calling. We respond to your invitation, to your ordination, and everything that goes with it. The impelling from the heart to love, the power to bear fruit in that love. Everything that you are, Lord, the holiness, that is you, that surrounds you, that you share with us. Lord, what a sacred trust. Let us honor it. We pray in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. And I believe we have crossed into a time from this day, from this time. Lord, we thank you for what lies ahead. Lord, you are great and awesome. And we praise you from this place. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. For the Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? Who is enthroned on high? Well, the answer is no one. <laughs> Who humbles himself to regard the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap that he may seat them with princes, with the princes of his people. And I was thinking how, you know, God sent some of his princes here this weekend, um, like three bunch of them. But uh, some major princes on the earth. Thank you, God. He makes the barren woman live in the house as a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. And I was thinking, how does that fit, Lord? He said, well, the church has been barren. But the Lord now will cause them to live in their house as a joyful mother of children. Many children. Amen. We thank you, Father. For the children we thank you for the lost we thank you father for those that are coming to you in this hour Lord, thank you for the grace to receive them to love them god to to mother them as this would speak of lord to disciple them in your ways and in your name lord we thank you for this hour lord i just thank you for that word way back about if there were only 10 and there are 10 here this morning so, Lord, we just want to say hallelujah. Thank you for all you did. Thank you for sending Andre, God, 
And then thank you for reading last night in Charisma that when you send the Russian evangelists, watch out, the prophetic word about the Russian evangelists. I said, well, we just had one today. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. When it hits the newspapers, we get to walk in it even before they write it. Thank you for that, God. Thank you for David Hogan, God. Thank you for sending him. Truly one of the generals, one of the princes in the land. God, thank you for uh, Bobby. Thank you for Lance last night, Lord. Thank you for that word that the next move of God is to get us to move. So, Lord, we thank you. Revival's already here. It's, it's a done deal. It's, it's here. It's been here. Thank you, God. But now, Lord, thank you for the next step to move the people moving out, doing your kingdom, advancing. Thank you for the great awakening that's begun in America, Lord. And Father, as we do every Monday, we pray today afresh that the fire on the altar would be stirred, that the wind of God would breathe over these altars. Lord, our hearts, but even in this place, Lord, that the wind of heaven would blow. Father, we thank you for the angelic host that lives around, dwells around. I don't understand it all. They're all around this property. But Lord, we ask you to stir them up today. We ask you, Lord, that they would be released to their assignments, to go to nations, to go to cities all across America, all across the earth, Lord. That, Lord, you truly, as this psalm declared, you are enthroned above every nation. Lord, we bless you and we honor you. Thank you, God. So stir the fires on the altar, Lord. Stir the fires, God, that the fires would not only not go out, but they would burn brighter and brighter still, that our light truly would so shine before men, that, God, they would see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. And we agree with those scriptures, Lord, twice this morning, that we didn't choose you. You chose us to go and to bear fruit and that our fruit should remain. Father, we pray, we thank you for the excitement and all that yesterday. And Lord, seeing people fly around, that's all good. But Lord, now we ask God for fruit that remains, that remains and that builds your house, that builds the kingdom, that establishes your name in all the earth. Oh God, thank you, Lord. So Lord, we just thank you for the fire and we just bless you, Lord, touch our children. God, stir in our hearts the love for your son this day. Lord, help us now. Lord, we need a lot of things for this move, for what's begun. So help us. Lord, raise up the leaders. Raise up those who would walk in those positions. God, that we know not even of yet, but we yield to you. We trust you. Thank you. You will build your church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. So we just honor you in this place. We want to begin Monday morning saying we honor you. We lift you up, Jesus. There's no one like you. You are the one. You are enthroned over the praises. God, we pray for all the intercession that you would guide and direct and give us the intercession of heaven. That all that's happening in heaven would happen on the earth. Lord, give us the scroll that is written in the heavens for this hour. Lord, we take it even now by faith off of the shelf of the library of heaven and we eat that scroll and we say, God, let it be worked out through us. Let it live. Let your son live in us. Let his word dwell in our hearts richly. God, come, Lord. Build a testimony that would be shouted all over the nations, God, all over the earth of the greatness of our God in this hour. And Lord, while we're praying, touch our president thank you for donald trump thank you lord we heard again last night he will say things that we won't understand and will seem to mess things up but it won't mess it up because you're in it lord thank you that he's going to wreck things today lord it's going to be a wrecking ball in dc yes giving boldness courage surround him surround melania surround the children lord father we pray that every tongue that rises up this week every false fake news story that it would quickly fall to the ground that it would become as naught it would be exposed lord and that truth would prevail over our nation god thank you father lord those that are trumpeting truth in america lord let their voices be heard louder than that which is false and fake and unreal oh god thank you 
Lord, we're going to grab hold of this moment. Thank you. It's not about us. Lord, if we would have been chosen, we wouldn't have chosen us. So thank you. You chose us from the foundation of the world. It's not about us. It's all about you, Jesus. So we praise you. We honor you, Jesus. We exalt you, Father God. Holy Spirit, we yield to you. We yield to you. Spirit of the living God, we yield to you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we would even speak to the finances, Lord, of those institutions that would come against this nation. We would speak to the, the media, to all of their finances, to those things, and we say that you begin to dry up now, that you dry up now. Amen. Father, that, that decisions are made from their perspective for financial reasons that they get off this rage that they have against this nation that their finances they dry up they dry up now in Jesus name Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak to the, the veil of darkness that are over the minds of people, the intellectual, not for intellect purpose, but to those people that have been so deceived that they look at black and they see it as white. Lord, we ask you to remove the, the agreements that they have made with that whole philosophy that it tears down now, that it falls down now. Lord, and, and, and within the media, that's, that's where my heart is, within the media, Lord, as in the Tower of Babel, that you confused, you confused the speech that they couldn't proceed. We would speak a confusion in hearing and speaking to the whole network and that it falls to the ground because of inability to communicate I thank you in Jesus name Father, I thank you for this house. I thank you for this house and, and what you've established here. Lord, and I would just speak a, a renewing to the people that have sowed, that they have sowed so much of their heart, a renewing and a refreshing, Father, of the vision that you put before them. Lord, those that are weary, that they become strong. Renew it, Father. Renew it, Father. I thank you, Lord, that uh, this gathering place changes lives. 
that sets on course direction of your destiny and your purpose. It's not just a wonderful place to worship. It's a place that change, change is affected in the hearts of people. Lord, that there become new vision and new purpose for this time, for this time, Father. So I bless this house. Father, I bless this house that finances flow into it, an abundance of finances, Lord. So they have the resources to do all that the heart you have put in their hearts to do. All of these missions, Father, all of these missions, you know they cost. So I ask that you open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings upon blessings that this place is a storehouse of finances to send to the nations to send to the world to do those things that you've called them to do so I thank you in Jesus name I thank you Father, we thank you for this transfer of wealth, that the wealth of the sinner has been laid up for the just. And Father, we just receive it. We receive it. We ask you to give us the airways. We ask you to give us the uh, TV stations, everything that um, the media has. We ask for it. We ask for you to raise up your people in the media. Give them influence, favor, a voice. We ask for these period, um, newspapers, magazines. We ask for Hollywood. We ask for the entertainment industry. We thank you, Father God. You already have um, a chunk of that now. But Lord, we ask you to just increase that favor. Increase it, increase it, Father. We want the whole thing. It all belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. So we stake claim to it. We stake claim to the media, Father. And Lord, do a, do something awesome in uh, the TV stations. Uh, I don't fully see it, but you, you are going to own that. <laughs> you already own it. Jesus is subduing it all to himself. So we declare the Lordship of Jesus over these TV stations that they belong to the Lord. They belong to Jesus Christ. These newspapers, these newspaper owners, they belong to Jesus Christ. The media belongs to Jesus Christ and to none other. We thank you, Father, for this transfer of wealth from Wall Street, Father, our economy, this transfer of wealth. We receive it by faith. We receive it by faith, Father. And Lord, I just changing this a little bit. I was so, um, I don't know, so moved upon by comments people uh, gave to me that this place was like home to them. Uh, they, they felt they had come home, that they, yes, they sent so much humility that there was none that was higher than the others, that we were all one. That's an awesome thing. And that was an, a major prince that told me that. He said, I will be, uh, I will come back here. I will come back here. And Father, this was a, a, a common thing that was spoken. It's not a common thing, but it was said uh, to me personally. So we rejoice in your work of grace in this house. Mm. We truly do. You have done this. You've done this by the Spirit. And Father, there's so many servant hearts here. We just thank you for giving us that heart. Thank you, Father God, that the, um, the servants that gave so much to put all this together. We ask you to remember Jim and Sue Kerr, just giving and giving and giving. <laughs> And what it's done for the youth and getting them, raising them up. They're, they have the servant's heart and it's just birthed in them through, 
through the curse by your spirit. Remember Keith Rutledge. God, you have made him a servant of all, and we thank you for blessing him in Monica in the bookstore. We thank you for touching them and overwhelming them and their children with your goodness. Because you can't outgive you. This man, Keith and Monica, uh, this woman of God is just giving and giving and giving and giving. And so, Lord, overwhelm them, overwhelm them, overwhelm them. They're due a big, big, big outpouring of the harvest of blessings. So we thank you for that. And every soul that gave and served and loved, we thank you, Father God. And we ask for you to send more. Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, we're so blessed in this house for who you have sent. But Father, send more. Send leaders. Send pillars of the church. Send those that are hungry and broken. Because our inside of them are lions. <laughs> send them, Lord. Send them. Those you've appointed to this house, bring them home. Bring them home. <laughs> Let the, the news of this home that you have established go abroad, Father, and bring those that is on your heart to be here, to be a part, to be established here, to do their part of serving and loving. <laughs> In Jesus' name. <laughs>